One day I got a call from my friend Ray that I went to high school with and he had moved out to Long Island and he called and said I'm bored out of my mind to you, I don't know what to do. There's really nothing out here. So he asked me and my friend, my other, my other friend from school, if we might go out there and spend a week with him because it was summertime now. So I really had no desire to go to the Long Island. I didn't know what was going on now. But I, he was like our best friend, so I said, okay, you know, so we, we went out there and, you know, there really was just nothing to do out there. I mean, in, this, in the suburbs, everybody just goes to a mall. And, I mean, I only went shopping when I really had to. I never enjoyed shopping growing up in Brooklyn. Once in a while to buy a shirt or a pair of jeans or whatever, but I never really wanted to be in a shopping area. So, you know, you come from a city, you don't really want to be anywhere with a shopping. So, anyway, you know, he had that same problem. He was used to going to real places where there was real people. You know. So, it was kind of was kind of pathetic just being out there. I mean, my friend put put Ray in the shopping cart. I was kind of wheeling him around. It was about the most excitement we had at the I mean, we had at the you know, shopping mall. I mean, thank goodness Ray's brother was like an excellent cook, and at least. She made some great food, so it was kind of, you know, it was nice eating that. But, but you know, outside of had enjoying Ray's mother's great cooking, there was just really nothing to do with that. So anyway, uh, what was odd was that I noticed every time my friend Ray heard ice cream bells from the ice cream truck. He would run out and he would insist on buying the ice cream for for me and my other friend. And like we were wondering, gee, what, what's going on here? Why does he keep buying to buy his ice cream? He kept saying, "Oh, you two are a guest. Just sit. You know, I want you to sit. I'll, I'll get the ice cream." So this went on for a few days. And you know, we could figure out like he's like, why didn't want Ray? You know, why didn't Ray want us to see the ice cream man? I was like, we kind of just shrugged our shoulder, figuring who knows, you know. So anyway, one day we all heard the ice cream bells, and Ray was on the telephone, so he couldn't get the ice cream. So I, I said, I said to my other friend, I, I said, you know, Ray's been buying ice cream all week. Let me go out and treat for the ice cream. You know, I was really bad, like the guy was treating every day to ice cream. So I went out to get the ice cream, you know, just thinking, you know, we just see ice cream bars, maybe some guy selling ice cream for the, from the truck, and, you know, I was wondering, like, what flavor I wanted to get, I, you know, so anyway, to my surprise, there wasn't an ice cream guy out there, but it was a very buxom blonde bombshell wearing a tight white t-shirt and she was completely braless. I was like, aha, uh -huh. that's why he doesn't want me and my friend to see me ice cream present. So I, I just laughed. I, I said, I guess it's, it's so dull out there that I guess the, I guess the ice cream roll was all that Ray had. <laughs> he didn't want to say that. It was me and my friend. You know. But, you know, I mean, she was pretty good looking. She was young, you know, blonde, you know, very good. Okay, I don't know. I mean, she could have been a model or something. I, I was kind of surprised she was. So, yeah, I guess it was probably a college kid or 
you know, having a summer jam or so, so. So, you know, it was just, it was just so funny. That, you know, he was like, trying to keep the ice cream girl a secret. <laughs> I don't know what he, what he thought me and my friend were going to do with the ice cream girl. I mean, we couldn't wait to get back to work on But I just thought I'd try to share that with you. But it was kind of really so bizarre. So, anyway, I just thought you'd get a check out of that. Well, thank you.